welcome to Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod, Living the Dream, a show that celebrates ordinary people who do extraordinary things. Hear what motivated them to attain their goals. See which circumstances molded their character and turned them into everyday heroes. Learn more about this show and the host for Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod TV and radio on Facebook. Now here are your hosts, the Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod, Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis and Lori Boyle. Hi, welcome to our show. Today we're going to do something a little different. The Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod are going to cook. Kat, a free-time breast cancer survivor and author of Surviving Cancer Land, Intuitive Aspects of Healing, is our chef. While going through treatment, she saw the need for nutritious meals that are quick to prepare. The recipes on our show are from her upcoming cookbook, Quickie Cooking for Busy People. Welcome to Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod Cook. And this morning we are going to be fixing a quick breakfast that you can prepare in 15 minutes or less because it's actually going to be overnight. And my sous chef here today <laughs> is the other Wicked Housewife of Cape Cod, Lori Boyle. And I'm going to be your cook today, Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis. Welcome to our show. I can't tell you how important breakfast is. And uh, when I was going through cancer treatment, I found it was extremely difficult to eat well because cooking took so long. And I remember one of the stories that propelled me to write my cookbook, Quickie Cooking for Busy People, <laughs> was um, one of the women in my radiation group came in one morning when we were undergoing treatment and she said, you know, I'm so tired at the end of the day. She said, what should I do tonight for dinner? Should I go through McDonald's or go through Kentucky Fried Chicken again or Burger King? Well, I did Kentucky Fried Chicken last night, so maybe I should do McDonald's. And we all looked at her and we said, you shouldn't be doing any of that. You're in treatment. Why are you doing that? And she looked at us and I remember it practically broke my heart, made me cry. She said, my husband left me with the kids and I'm working full time for the insurance. I'm trying not to change their lives as much as possible. I'm still taking them to soccer, piano lessons, ballet lessons, and I'm going through treatment and I'm working. At the end of the day, I'm so tired that last night when I was going through the drive through I fell asleep. So that propelled me, Lori, wow. to make a cookbook for these women. So our breakfast this morning, which is so important for those of you who are busy ladies like us, you want to have a hot breakfast for your children when you wake up in the morning? This is a combination of muesli, which is breakfast, hot breakfast cereal that is from Switzerland. And I used to eat it there all the time. I love muesli. And it is a combination of grains and oats and um, dried fruit. And you can add more dried fruit to it if you wish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this muesli, which has all the nuts, all your grains that you would need for the whole day. And I'm going to mix it with steel cut. Oh, it's not. It's misbehaving. <laughs> steel cut oats. Now the reason I'm going to use the steel cut oats is because it cooks slower and we're going to cook all of this in a slow cooker. Now where did I get my slow cooker? I've heard people when I was in treatment women said I can't afford a slow cooker. I can barely make it from meal to meal. I got this at Christmas tree shop. It was on sale for $4.99. You, <laughs> you are a shopper, though. I am. We, we are thrifty. You, you find the bargains all the time. It's wonderful. I love it. I use it all the time. And I also use it for breakfast when the weather turns cold. My husband loves this. So what we're going to be making is moat meal. <laughs> it's mostly oatmeal. Moat meal. Yes, and it is in my book. So I'm... The, the way to do this is very simple. Remember, two cups of water to one cup of whatever mixture you want. If you mm -hmm. want more muesli, if you want more oatmeal, 
you can choose, okay? So I am going to now put a half a cup of my rolled oats, my cut oats. Okay, I've got a half a cup there. So I'm gonna close this up. And by the way, these beautiful glasses, these glass plates, Seiden Stricker, yeah. Um. That right is, on those, Cape Cod. That glass is beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? And this one happens to be, and you've got a, what's really oh. cool about Seidenstricker is you've got to hunt for the year that this was made. It's like hidden in here. And sometimes you have to keep staring at it to find it. And I did find this once, and I've lost it again. <laughs> so now I'm going to add my muesli. And if you could come in and, and take a little closer look. It's just all grains, all different types of grains mm -hmm. and nuts and raisins and dried fruit. And you can add additional fruit if you want. So I'm gonna add this to my cut. Oops, might have a little too much <laughs> there. That's okay. Just remember my, two to one. Yeah, that. two to one. You can always pour it back in. But actually, that's not bad at all because this is, if you mashed it down, it would be perfect because you've got your, your nuts and you've got your dried fruit in here, and that's mm -hmm. taking up space. So what you do then is you just pour it into your slow cooker. And you're going to take the slow cooker, just kind of shake it down a little bit, and you're going to add two cups of water. And after you add your two cups of water, you're going to plug it in at night before you go to bed. As late as possible and put it on low. Put your slow cooker on low. That's, that's the trick to this. Because if you put it on high, it's going to cook too quickly. And in the morning, you're going to have mush. Mm. So we put it in here. We add our water, which I've already done. And this morning when I got up, Filling up the house with wonderful, wonderful smells. Let me put this over here. Is our moatmeal. <laughs> Beautiful, love, it smells like nuts and um, dried fruit and the oatmeal. And all I did, that's all I did. I didn't add anything else to it for a very special reason. Some people have high blood pressure. And if you happen to be one of the people who have high blood pressure, like some of the people in my family, it's hard to get oatmeal that has not been cooked with salt. And salt has a tendency to raise high oh, blood pressure. Yeah. So I go with really good quality, organic oatmeal and mersley. And by the way, I got this at Job Lots. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into cheap. <laughs> I love it. We're the frugal housewives yeah. of Cape Cod as well. You know, why should you pay an arm and a leg for this wonderful stuff when you can go to Job Lots and get it for peanuts? Um, yeah, they have a big food section, in fact. They've got an incredible food yeah. section, and it's fabulous for the holidays. Close it up, put a rubber band on it. So now what do we do? Well. What we're going to do is we're going to add what we want to this moat meal or not. Moat meal to serve in your castle. Moat meal <laughs> to serve in your castle. And let me tell you, you can send your kids to school in the morning with um, a great warm breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I am going to add a little bit of milk to mine because I, I love milk in my moat meal. <laughs> I'll take some too. Rather than cooking it in milk, because that's going to add calories. I love peanut butter in my moat meal. Now this doesn't look like regular peanut butter. It's not regular peanut butter. What it is is it's ground organic peanuts that I got from Whole Foods. So if I can't get my organic foods from some of the other stores, and we were talking about um, one of them when you first come across the bridge. Uh, market Basket. Market Basket. Mm -hmm. Mark, I don't know if Market Basket has organic ground peanut butter, but Market Basket is awesome. Mm. Most yep. of what you see here on my table is from Market Basket. They've got a gigantic organic section. So if you're watching this for the first time, 
get down there and check it out because it's incredible. Incredible. Well, that's a reason that a lot of people don't use organic is because it's so expensive. Yes, you're right. You know, but if you shop at the right store mm -hmm. and you know where to go to get the organic stuff, that's that's half the battle right it there. It is half the battle yeah. right there. And remember, if you're shopping organic, and let's say you're going to go on a vacation, you have to go away for a few days, freeze it. So yeah. we're going to take our nutmeg, fresh nutmeg, and they, they look just like this. They're mm -hmm. nuts, nut, meg, nut. And we're going to grind it using the same apparatus that we would use to grind cheese, mm -hmm. okay? And when you mix them together with cinnamon, you've got a natural antibiotic. It's incredible. So eat oh, lots really? of it, eat you know, healthy. I don't think I've ever had ground my own nutmeg before. <laughs> I just <laughs> buy it in the store. This on is so fresh. Can, I mean, you can aisle. smell it. As you're oh, doing yeah. it, it smells like Christmas and eggnog. It does. It does. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's great. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now this right here is pure vanilla powder. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. So I'm going to add just a tad. Okay. It's delicious. Delicious. This is and, really doctoring it up, huh? Mm -hmm. You're just putting everything in there. Everything in there. The kids are going to love it. You can add it all or just a little. And mm -hmm. our maple syrup. Mm. Mm. I even put this in my coffee. I put this in everything. Really? Yes. When I make whipped cream rather than sugar, I use maple syrup. Oh. Yeah. Okay. From New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. New Hampshire. 100% pure maple syrup. Mm-hmm. Not the stuff that's just like sugary nope. syrup stuff. This stuff is right out of the tree onto your table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you just kind of mix it up and... Is it good? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Like my parents mm. used to say, this is going to stick to your ribs. <laughs> we used to eat this before we went skiing or ice skating mm -hmm. or anything out in the snow because the, the, the energy it gives you to burn is an amazing. It also brings down your high blood pressure mm -hmm. and it's just healthy and delicious. They eat it in Europe all winter long. Try it here. You can add more dried fruit to it. Uh, you can add your own nuts. You can add pine nuts. Use your imagination. Mm -hmm. The only other thing you need to add to this when you serve it to your family is a little love. <laughs> <laughs> and get a lot of that from us. And you'll get a lot of that, yeah, from us too. So thank you so much for joining us. This is moat meal. Moat meal right here for breakfast. Serve it to your kids, put it in the fridge, keep it for a week, serve it to them in the mornings, every morning. They'll love it. It's awesome. Till next time. Thank you for joining Lori Boyle and Kathleen Cat, O'Keefe Cannabis on Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod. Don't forget to like us on Facebook for our show updates and join us next time when we showcase more everyday heroes.